we've come to this exquisite location of Jetwing Ayurveda Pavilion in Negambo to explore the mystical healing abilities of Ayurveda, natural therapies and much more. Welcome to another exciting episode of Ayurveda and Healing. Jetwin Arda the Pavilion is a one of leading wellness hotel in Sri Lanka. So actually in our resort we always provide authentic, traditional, pure Ayurveda in luxurious way. So in our family, in our Jetwin family, there are five more Ayurvedic resorts all around the country and we are the main branch. Guests who comes to our resort may get a special personalized attention and health care during their whole stay. So that is the speciality of our Ayurvedic treatments because we are not only think about their uh, health state and their physical health. Uh, because we always uh, look after their mental health and spiritual health too. The most important thing is when a person come to our hotel to take Ayurveda treatment, we specially give a personal attention during their whole stay. In Jetwin Ayurveda Pavilion, we practice uh, four of these Panchakarma mainly instead of bloodletting treatments. So according to the patient requirement, we arrange that treatment plan including panchakarma. But uh, most all the clients who come to our resort sometimes may not get chance to have the panchakarma because it gets a long procedure. So therefore, according to their requirement and concern about their number of nights uh, staying with us, we plan uh, what are the most suitable panchakarma to do for their self. Panchakarma are the main activities in Ayurveda treatments. Actually, there are five treatments included to this panchakarma. One is Nasya, which is focused on Kapadosha, and the other one is uh, medical emesis, which also focus on kapha dosha. The rest are uh, medical purgation and um, medical enema. The final one is bloodletting treatments. So we are about to go in and experience some really interesting Ayurvedic treatments here at the Ayurveda Pavilion in Negambo. And first in line is Pada Bhyanga, which is a traditional foot massage which heals uh, and revitalizes the entire system. is a kind of a snehana karma which mentioned under pura karma in Ayurveda treatments. So what we do during the Pada Abhyanga is mainly we focus on the legs of the client. When we do Pada Abhyanga, especially we focus on the feet. 
which is represent whole body, all the organs of a human body. So while we are doing that, we we do some special uh, massage around the marma points. There are seven marma points up to knee when we take a leg. So especially we focus on those areas while we are doing this Pada Abhyanga. When we come to the method of doing this Pada Abhyanga, first we let the client to lie face up on a prop appropriate or proper bed and then we expose on only the uh, related area where we do this massage it's mean up to uh, up to knee joints we expose the uh, leg and then we start to apply warm oil over the leg to apply this oil we use ifiraj uh, massage method uh, and then we start to do our other uh, massaging uh, techniques uh, such as uh, petrissage, uh, kneading, bandaging and special massage around the marma points. Likewise we cover over the leg by doing this special treatment. will be changed according to the body constitution and also according to the disease and sometime according to their uh, health requirement. So we use uh, most of our herbal oils to do Pada Abhyanga but there are some specific oil which is recommended to do Pada Abhyanga especially uh, oil called sarshapadi thai layer and like that. This is very good for uh, sleeping disorders like insomnia and also this is good for the vision, it improves our vision and also when we go to the leg, especially this Pada Abhyanga is very good for varicose vein and also if uh, somebody has uh, weak uh, calf muscles, this is also very good. And also, this is a good pain killer. It's relieve pain, and also it, it's uh, stimulate the blood circulatory system of the legs. And especially, this is very good for uh, lymphatic drainage. Uh, so it's mean uh, having this Pada Abhyanga at least if you can have uh, twice a month uh, this kind of Pada Abhyanga, it will give you a good relaxation and it will help you to be healthy and it will be make you refresh. So my first herbalic uh, treatment was a herbal foot massage, a herbal foot massage rather, uh, where the therapist knew exactly where the pressure points were. And when it comes to the shin, he knew exactly where to put pressure and calf-wise, he knew how to make, uh, make the calf relax. I wasn't stiff anymore. It felt really good. He, and and, and the, 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 the cream, the oil treatment he gave me, it felt really good. Uh, hands down, that was one of the, that, that was the best, uh, leg massage, a herbal leg massage I've ever experienced. Uh, yeah, hands down, that was really good. Let 
natural healing ability of Ayurveda permeate into all areas of your life, physical and mental, to help you connect to your most authentic, powerful self. Ayurveda and Healing will be right back. Up next is the Pindus Vedha treatment, which is basically a treatment uh, done by using uh, warm herbal oils and herbal bags, um, which is also personalized to suit your health and medical background. Pindus Vedha is come under Swedha Karma, which is mentioned in Ayurveda philosophy. So it is also one of our Purva Karma. So to do the Pinda Sweda, we use a bowl shaped pack. So using that pack, actually we before we use that pack, we heat this pack and then we do some kind of a fermentation all over the body. When we talk about these herbal packs, there are different different types of herbal packs. Some packs uh, are made from leaves and some packs made by seeds and some from the fruits and some from, from the combination of uh, many herbs. Uh, so for an example, we can tell Nicocola Potania, Atta Potania, and also sometimes we use uh, sea sand to make these uh, herbal pack. When we are arranging, it's when, when we are preparing this herbal pack, first if you if we take the herbal leaves or herbal seeds, first we want to crush it well. combine or we can mix it with appropriate oil and sometimes we can mix it with uh, some herbal decox as well and then we can uh, use a uh, proper linen to arrange a proper pack and then uh, we make it heat uh, after that we can use it for the fermentation This is come under Pura Karma. The expectation of this treatment is to remove or to eliminate toxins from our body. So especially this treatment is very good for muscle tension and uh, muscle stiffness. It removes the muscle stiffness and then it uh, uh, increases the mobility and flexibility of the muscles. And also this is stimulate again the blood circulatory system and our lymphatic system and also the nervous system. If you take the disease wise, this is very good for osteoarthritis and paralysis and also for some edemas we use this Pinda Sweda treatment. So my second therapy was a body fermentation massage. Uh, where you get a shallow uh, oily massage on the back and I honestly did have an uh, ache on my spinal cord uh, along the spinal cord the muscle I had an ache and a bit of soreness but from that oil treatment and through the body fermentation pack few few touches from the pack I feel really good I feel refreshed and me being like I'm more of a more of an active person throughout the days throughout my week rather and uh, that felt really good, I feel relieved, I feel relaxed. That was ab absolute brilliance. Ayurveda 
Samantha is not simply a solution to a problem, but a way of life. We'll be back shortly after these messages. Skin issues can be completely eliminated through the use of Ayurveda. Now, Lepana is one of those special methods used to heal the biggest organ of the body. When we arrange this uh, Lepana paste, we can, um, we can use uh, margosa leaves and also asparagus leaves along with fresh milk and sometimes along with herbal decox. And also we can use herbal powder also, it's, we can mix with herbal powder or herbal oil. It's also changed according to the health requirement. This treatment is mainly recommended for in inflammatory condition. It because uh, in this treatment, the target organ is our largest organ, the skin. apply this herbal paste over the back and also after that we can continue with our legs and arms by that it stimulate the regeneration of our skin so it's give a good look and glowing look to your skin Benefits of this Lepana treatment is, as I told you, this treatment mainly for uh, inflammatory condition. Therefore, this is very good for skin inflammation. Uh, we can do this treatment as a skin care treatment. And also by doing this treatment, again, we can stimulate our blood circulatory system too. And also this will open our hair follicles and also this will give a good nourishment to our skin. It was so soothing. It felt refreshing after going through all that massage uh, segments. Uh, it was a pack where it goes throughout my back of the body. It felt so good. Uh, it smelled good and on top of that, Hence, uh, there was a bit of komarika and all of that. Uh, herbs used in the pack, it felt cold, and I had to stay like 15 to 20 minutes after having that pack on my back. Uh, I felt so fresh and I, I felt so good. That was such a good way to end the segment. That was so good. So this concludes our episode here at Jetwing Ayurved Pavilion Nigambo. And I truly hope that this experience helped you understand deeper the transformative powers of Ayurveda and its healing abilities um, and uh, its power to change your life. So the more you explore and study this beautiful ancient art of Ayurveda, the more you realize how beautifully it can be utilized to transform and change your life. Um, not only to promote health and well-being, but to also help you function like an absolute superhuman. So keeping that in mind, I'll see you next time.